A common question that I get when I'm at a conference, when people come to our booth and visit with us, is what do we have here? So what do, what do we have here? And that's a really good question. Uh, right now it just looks like a bunch of stuff, and it is a bunch of stuff. But what we actually have here is a wireless nurse call system. Uh, not just a, hey, I press a button, I need help type of wireless nurse call. What this system is that you currently see here is a wireless nurse call that is actually integrated into phone systems so that way your staff can receive alerts either at the nurse's station or they could utilize uh, Wi-Fi phones or mobile phones and be out on the floor taking care of the residents and they can actually receive those alerts and actually document uh, what that alert was about right there from that phone. You will also see that, yes, Hey, we all know what a bedside station is, uh, so we do have that. Nice thing uh, is that it is a quarter inch jack, so it's standard, it's not proprietary, and we can support the uh, bedside station buttons, as well as low dexterity pads and, and so forth for anybody that has low dexterity issues. Uh, not going to get into a whole lot, but yes, we do have um, uh, water resistant pull cords for in wet areas. Uh, typically where we see these are in bathrooms, spas, and common areas. Uh, and then what else do you see here? So that's our typical type of devices that we're used to. Well, it can do a lot more. Uh, if you wanted to, we could do environmental monitoring. So that means that we can, we can uh, send alerts to staff in any which way that you would choose, whether it's a water detection leak, which is quite uh, useful in multi-level, multi-family type uh, retirement communities, especially in independent living. Uh, we have smoke detection. We can do standalone smoke detection. So uh, that way, if you just have a resident at risk um, and they seem to be burning toast because I burn eggs, so uh, toast is more common, uh, you can throw up a smoke detector for that resident who has that, you have that concern for, right? Um, but we can also do fire panel integration. That's pretty powerful because what that allows is when an alert goes off within any of your buildings, we can send that location of that alert directly to your staff, however they're receiving those alerts or however you want to receive those alerts. Uh, this here saves a lot of time and can save the effort of generally the full fire department coming to your place uh, because your staff can react and they can say, hey, wait a minute, that's Larry burning toast again. Uh, Therefore, they can call off that full fire department, go directly to that uh, location of that incident. So that's really nice when you have a full fire panel integration. We can also do door monitoring. Uh, you could do all kinds of various forms of door monitoring. Uh, you can alert on a door just being opened. Uh, at any time, you could alert whenever a door or a, it's a window as well uh, is opened. Uh, only during specific times. Uh, we've also used those for like cabinets and refrigerator monitoring. If you're looking to do more like, you know, aging in place type efforts for your residents. Uh, some of the other things that we can do uh, besides water and, and smoke is we can also do temperature monitoring, which is nice, right? So we can start to use this system in a lot of variety of ways, not just for hey, I need some help, or a typical call system solution. So we have a full variety of uh, environmental monitoring that we can implement with the system, so that is really nice as well. Uh, some of the other things that we have uh, with this is we do have a mobile PERS system, and talk about that real quick. The mobile PERS system, uh, we can cover communities uh, that are just a single standalone building, let's just say 90,000 square feet, or we can cover communities that are hundreds and hundreds of acres, many of miles. Um, nice thing about this is that the pendants can be worn as a watch, as you can see, and they can put any band on it. Or they can put a necklace, and you can wear it as a necklace. It does come with uh, hyperallergenic uh, bands and lanyards for those residents initially. But there's some other nice things about this pendant. Uh, specifically, it's waterproof. So what that means is your residents don't have to take that off and forget it, right? So they can leave that pendant on however they wish to wear it. Uh, they can go swimming in it. We don't care. Uh, they could wash it in their clothes. We don't care, right? Uh, so 
That is really nice because we're not constantly replacing pendants. We've got a true waterproof pendant. So that is really nice. What are some other things that we can do? Uh, we have also what's called advanced location protocol. And what's nice is when a resident presses that pendant and activates an alert, uh, we, have, we can map out your community and it's private, all right? So, uh, and what the, I mean by that is think of like a geolocation type thing is that we don't need a physical device to say, this is where the resident's at. When we're done mapping it, we'll take all the signals that we've built out throughout your community and we'll create virtual points. So right now I'm in our Unified Alerts conference room doing this video with you. If I were to press that pendant, uh, it, I can map out our conference room and it would say, hey, Larry Graft, name of the resident, uh, is in the Unified Alerts conference room. We can do this in inside areas, outside areas, uh, wide open areas. Uh, um, and the nice thing is, is we name it what your staff know, not just something that somebody's guessing at. So we would sit down with you and say, hey, uh, what's the nomenclature? What's the wording you use to describe this area? Uh, so that is nice. There's also some other specific special type feature pendants out there uh, that we really like and we're finding very useful. Um, you know, we know mobile pendants are generally geared for the independent living resident, uh, but what we have now is that we, you know, aging in place is really coming about, let's face it, right? So we are starting to have uh, a mix of husband and wives, uh, still living within an independent living environment, or even an assisted living uh, studio type of environment. And uh, one of them is, you know, starting to experience memory uh, concerns, issues, and so what we can actually do is put a special pendant on that resident. To them, uh, day to day, it's a, hey, I need some help type pendant, right? And staff come. But that special pendant can do some other cool things. So since we have that risk that that resident uh, is starting to forget where he's at at times, or we're worried about where they might go within the community, uh, we can set zones uh, that we can alert if Larry comes into that area right we can alert that or we can also set alerts if Larry goes outside of that area which is really nice so and we can again remember those virtual points uh, is we can say that's where Larry's at um, another nice little feature about that is if I don't know where Larry's at I can actually uh, enable what's called breadcrumb tracking and with breadcrumb tracking I can kind of see exactly what breadcrumbs would do a little red riding hood and all that stuff uh, where was Larry's last locations so there's a lot we can do it's just not a pendant so just wanted to share that with you so so far we got environmental monitoring we got our regulation requirements right pool cores bedside stations we got a mobile purse what else can we do well I just mentioned regulation so I better circle back around to that so uh, this nurse health system can go into skilled nursing as I mentioned in one of the other segments so there are other things that we, we can do. I'm going to activate an alert so that you can see how we can meet those other regulation requirements. So I'm going to activate a bedside station. And just like a resident would, it can trigger a dome light. If you notice, this is not just any form of light. This is a decorative sconce. So uh, we can utilize all kinds of various forms of decorative sconces uh, and make it nice, make it home. We can start now pushing out alerts for regulations. Um, we got to have a console at our nurses stations. And the nice thing about that, that console can actually provide information about that resident, not just say, hey, Larry is, is, is uh, you know, pressing his bedside station again. We can put information within the system. It could be a picture of that resident. It could be just basic information. So our staff and our caregivers know a little bit about that resident. So yes, we do have those, and you can place those anywhere. We have those in independent living and only communities as well. And then we use those at concierge desks because they're nice, they're LCD. Um, one of the things that you're probably noticing is, is alerts are going off. So one of the things is we can send alerts to just about anything. Um, you see that we do lights and we do consoles. Uh, we can also send these alerts to phones, very powerful. Uh, we can integrate with your, your phone system, which we do on very large type communities. Uh, we can also um, uh, set phones directly off that call system, as you see here. 
Uh, and what will happen, I'll wait until the next time it comes through, is it'll tell the staff of, uh, in, a, in a verbal format of who is calling and, and what that's concerning. So, I also, oh, you probably have heard this going off. We can send alerts to mobile apps, which is really nice. So, it, it will vibrate, it can ring, and there's a lot that we can do with this private mobile app, but you'll see that it shows in red an active incident and who it is and where they're located. I can click on that and it can show me a picture of that resident and it can also, then I can actually call that resident into their room if I wanted to and I could actually speak to them and I could say, hey Larry, do you need help? And this way maybe I can save some time and maybe all Larry needs is I just need some water. So two-way talk, yes, we can do that as well. So I'm going to hang this up. As you see, I did not clear that yet, so I'm escalating. So yes, we can escalate alerts until someone clears it. We can ring this phone, that phone, send them to the mobile apps, desk phones, set off lights. We can go to infinity with doing this until someone answers and takes care of that resident, which is nice. A couple of other things that I don't have here to show you, but we can send alerts to emails and text messages as well too. Um, so keep that in mind. There's just not lights, bells and whistles. We can go completely silent for any alerts. Oh, there's my mobile app. Tell me no one's taking care of Larry. So you have many choices.